Okay. Time for the real game. It's time to get serious. Brace yourselves. We're about to dive headfirst into the abyss. And we're about to remind you why this is a horror visual novel. Remember how everything is color-coded? And blue text is related to secrets? Black fire in total darkness. You didn't think I was going to turn my back on you, did you? We can beat her together. There's still hope for love. Draw this symbol instead. Wearing your ritual amulet, chant this. Amulet. And this is the circle cross. Damn it, I went past it. All right. Looking for this dog? Maybe. You may be capable of pulling a fast one on my nieces, but nothing escapes my gaze. Well, when your face is like mostly I, I can't imagine that being hard. I think you'll find it quite impossible to cast that counter evil without this amulet. Now, my stray sheep, it's time I shepherd you back in line. But first. Yeah, so you remember how she can, uh... You remember how she fucked with the fourth wall before? That says health now. Welcome to the true experience of chapter three. We have dropped all pretenses of being a visual- of being a visual novel now, and your goal is to survive. The book displays a numerous amount of counter spells that she will try to use against you, and you have to figure out which ones it is and counter them the best you can. Alright, Porus. Also, fair warning. Um, that whole her, like, fucking with the fourth wall? Yeah, that doesn't stop. She'll affect you in the pause menu, too. Alright, so this is prosperity. Here we go. If holes appear in your hand, you've been cursed by, pros by uh, por porcity. Looks like this. The holes will multiply until you are no more. Mass stand in front of a mirror and chant. For most of these, it's just chant three times, basically. It says until the holes are filled, and usually they get filled at, like, three chants. And if we take too long, we'll lose a, we'll lose a uh, bit of health. It's also noting you can look at these spells before. is still on your side. Also, what I was going to say, it's worth noting, you can look at the spells beforehand, uh, before this part begins, to kind of freshen up on them. But if you don't know what they're there for, you may not even bother trying to memorize them. And even then, you are under that time pressure to figure out what is going on, figure out the right counter spell, and deal with it before whatever is trying to kill you kills you. Do you still trust it? We'll see who it sides with soon. 
I'm sure. I've walked the earth while man was still oh, rocking box. in its cradle. I know not only what scares you, but what terrified every single one of your ancestors. All right. So this one is, I believe it's like Soul Taken or some shit like that. Basically, ghosts are coming to try to steal my soul if I start turning invisible. I have to turn on all the lights and stand perfectly still. I hate it most of all, it and another one, mostly because it is very fucking loud. Also, I'm really sad that I just don't have the same kind of... I was actually generally tense when I was first doing this the first time in the first recording. Now, though, I know what to expect. I know what spells work, what don't, most of the counters for all of them, and I also know what spells are actually red herrings and don't ever actually happen in the game. Yes, some of the spells in the spellbook are just red herrings to confuse you. Yeah, so this one I just gotta hang out and wait until it passes through here. Finally, it entered into the room. Which means now I just need to wait for it to pass. just takes for forever to go away and it's so goddamn loud was that too easy for you we've only begun to lift the veil let's see how you handle the next one dog I mean, depending on which one this is, it might actually be pretty easy. What's that outside your window? Oh, look, it is actually super easy. All right. Close that. I want you to know, this one kind of fucks with me on a meta sense. Not because it's difficult, but because, like... <laughs> so what this does is this plays sound effects. It desperately wants you to, like, open the window or open the door, as we saw with the giant fucking face hanging outside. Which I'm pretty sure the only reason it didn't kill me is because, like, it has no way of... Like, there's no way to defend if the curtain had to be open for the ghostly apparition thing. But honestly, these two curses, there are two curses at play here, spoilers, are the easiest because you basically have infinite time because one of them doesn't start harming you until you actually... No. One of them doesn't start affecting you until you counter curse it in the other one. I mean, if you've got any common sense not to open a door for what sounds like your girlfriend's, uh, then you're already beating it. I guess the other one would be just like, don't fucking touch that also because that's the thing so basically what we're dealing with is yeah no 
So what we're dealing with is two spells, or two evils. Riding on the wall, which is kind of plain and obvious to see, and Tormentor. So we'll deal with writing on the wall first because it comes first. Never trust any written words besides mine. If writing has begun to appear anywhere in your home, writing, writing on the wall is after you. Ensure that there is no writing on your body. Check your mirror off and wash away any writing off your face. You wrote it without realizing it. Do not touch your chalkboard. Which I guess is kind of, duh, it looks like fucking Satan. Uh, Satan is inhabiting my chalkboard. You're a clever little shit, aren't you? I mean, I'm not clever. I'm just smart enough not to trust you. You're trying to murder me. I right, chant three times. Typically, after every application, writing will appear. I assume if you try to counter curse it with it on your body, it'll like... I don't know, hurt your body or something, I'm not quite sure. But like I said... Yeah, like I said, usually as long as you just... Don't fucking, uh... Like, this one only hurts you while you're trying to counter it. And as long as you just remember to wash it off each time... Which, I mean, there's a graphics that appears every time you cast it. It's hard not to notice. Uh, you have no problem. And the voices can get annoying, and if you're home alone, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and you hear a knocking that's coming from your left, right where your door is, yeah, that can be a little fucking, uh... I'll let you become a legend. Uh, that can be a little disorienting and totally not scare the shit out of you. Alright, next one to counter. Tormentor. If you hear suspicious voices calling out to you, check your window. If you see something upsetting, do not go outside no matter what you hear. Do not open your door for it. Oh, so I can actually look out the window. Yeah, that looks terrifying. Instead, just chant. I don't know why there are two chants here. Uh, it's kind of weird. I think that might just be a graphical glitch, because it also doesn't look like the hieroglyphics align at all. Yeah, basically, just don't open your door. It's like really kind of obvious. No duh. Hmm, I expected those to be a challenge. That was on it. Those two are honestly the easiest. Like I said. These next horrors won't be so easy to dispel. Debata debatable. All right, so this is gonna be one of two or three, I think, that are left. Gotta wait for like an audio cue or something to figure out what it is. Suffering is born. Oh. So this is. Uh, where is it? No, oh, went too far. So this is Psychic Scream. If you hear something strange that is getting louder with time, it is not just your imagination. It can kill you. Go outside. If you can see the source of the strange noise, cast the counter evil. Uh-oh. No, wait. I stand corrected. This is different. This is Taker. Basically, wear a mask and have a living thing on you. There we go. That sound effect means he took the deal. Sounds of scratching glass. For this, I need to specifically check the mirror and then immediately go back out. Uh, let me see. Where is this one? Mirror reveals its cruelty. Yeah, here we go. If you hear scratching glass, check your reflection. If you see something strange, run away from the mirror immediately. Do not make eye contact or touch the mirror in any way. Drink into your bedroom. Turn off the light. If it gets in the room, there is nothing you can do. Chant. I'm trying to read all these to give a better description of 
what it is I'm trying to explain. But I'm also trying to like... Are these horrors becoming too challenging for you to withstand? I'm also trying to like read the actual text just so I don't just automatically go through all these. And actually trying to read it is actually adding an extra level of challenge. Like I barely had any time with the taker. Which you can kind of close the door to keep him at bay for a little bit, but honestly, like, a, a couple spells require you have the mask, so there's no reason not to remove it. Like, I, th no spell says that you shouldn't be wearing the mask, so you should just always be wearing the mask. You could, in theory, just always carry the knife and always carry the turtle on you to be prepared for everything. <laughs> Oh, you can't begin to imagine the horrors I can show you. You have three spells left. And soon, you won't have to imagine. Oh. Uh, this is the shadows, I think. Uh. Yeah, here we go. If the lights go out, won't turn on. There's no such thing as an innocent sound or shape in the shadows. You must complete this ritual before the darkness takes dominion. Yo, cast this three times. Try not to go too fast with this one, but of course, like, it's a little bit difficult when you're under, under pressure. Do, 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 do. kind of see like the shadows are twisting a little bit more I think other shadows start actually coming in too haven't surrendered yet dog I I'm impressed you've got backbone for a human of your age Tell me about it. But I doubt your will to survive will last much longer. Your voice won't be heard again. There we go. Whenever she says that your voice won't be heard again, uh, you are being inflicted with, uh, where is it? Uh, tormentor, hideous reflection, silence. If you're unable to speak or perform incantations, you have been silenced. Do not try to scream. Grab the ritual knife and go to the bathroom with a mirror. Use it to cut off the foreign substance. There we go. I can speak now. The last one is the other one I tried describing before I realized it was the taker. This is the psychic scream. This is the other annoying one because it progressively gets louder. If you see the source of the strange noise, cast this counter evil. You've survived all that. Just one human? Damn right. In such a short time? Becoming... Also, it's worth noting, um... Actually, I'll save it for this coming part. I can't believe it. You're no average human. It's almost like I'm a visual novel protagonist. Weird that. But you still can't escape me. Bet. She must be running out of tricks by now. The ultimate wrath of the clawing chaos is upon you. Hold fast and prepare yourself, dog. I've lasted this long. I'm not stopping now. It's also worth noting, if you fail any of these, like you run out of hearts, you're doing this whole section over. There are no checkpoints in this part. I'm not afraid. <laughs> then you lack imagination. Still alive, dog. All right, final showdown. Basically, she's going to start throwing... Hold on. There we go. She starts throwing every curse at you. And you've got to fend off all of them. 
The only one she will not use against you is the Taker. And that's because, as you've noticed, the, um, the glass where the turtle used to be is completely gone. So there is no way to defend against the Taker should he come again. If you fail, I think, against the Taker, he'll show up again. But as long as you've dealt with him once with the turtle, he pisses off. So we have to counter every other curse in one go, which, as I've shown, isn't hard. They usually work in tandem with each other sometimes. The Wraith is on its own. Uh, writing on the wall and the voices are together. And I think Psychic Scream and Silence are usually together. That's right, you piss the fuck off. Get out of here. On the plus side, I get my chance to redo a, uh, a, a no-hit run. There we go. So I got hit with silence. It sounds like Psychic Scream is going on. Just like I said, those two are usually paired together. Oh, shit, right. God damn it. Hold on. This is the other annoying thing. Since a couple of these spells require you to block out all darkness, you've got to do that so you can actually still see the spells. Yet, somehow I can't banish it if I'm, like, outside. I don't get that, but hey, whatever. There's sounds of scratching glass. What's really annoying is, even if you can identify that it's the mirror, you have to actually look at the mirror first. Before you can counter the, before you can counter the evil, even though you are very aware of what it is. Come to add to. Oh, I just have to do that once. Okay. All right. What's next? It's either going to be shadows or the holes in my body. Holes in my body. Got it. Uh, let's see. This requires... Yeah, stand in front of the mirror. Okay, this is the one that I've got to chant three times. And I think also the shadow one. Your concentration now. Shit. I also hate how much she like fucking just shit talks me whenever I fail like that. Thankfully, you've got quite a few like warnings before the spell is complete or before the evil is complete. So I've got quite a few times to go. There we go. I had to reset my mouse uh, before like I actually take a health of damage. Your window. Yeah, yeah. That's the audio cue that tells me that this is the, uh, uh, that this is the voices and also the, uh, text. I love the fact that Icarus Swarm is just a, is just a, a red herring. This does not actually happen. Uh, neither does caustic uh, humors. 
writing on the wall. Ah, here's the one that I was doing. The, uh, if you start to turn invisible while you move, you are being spirited away. They are looking for you. They want to take you away. Don't bother hiding. Pretend to be alive by standing in a room as well lit as possible and, uh, and remaining perfectly still. Hold your breath. Do not move so much as a finger while they pass through. And the other one I didn't get to uh, talk about was the taker. Routinely check that your doors are still closed. If they are ajar, close them. You only have moments to do so. If he enters your home, he won't leave without taking something with him. However, if you wear a mask and have a life form on your person, he may spare you and leave with only the life form. If you wake up unharmed, he has taken your deal. This will only protect you once. And also, final fear. No telling what will happen if she uses her hex against uh, uses this hex against you. If her true form reveals itself outside your home, there is nothing we can do to stop her. I'm sorry we gave it our best shot. I hope the end comes swiftly. Again, this never gets used mainly because, you know, there's no counter for it. It's just there to, like, add credence of horror and tension. Those three spells are basically just there to just kind of fuck with you and make you think that something might be happening. So I think after this one, all I have less left is the shadows, I guess, are the only curse left. So I've already dealt with uh, the mirror. I've dealt with these two. I've dealt with... Uh, I've dealt with, like, the spirited away. He is reflection. I've dealt with silence and silence spirited away. Uh, and I've dealt with uh, psychic scream. And I've dealt with that one. So, yeah, the shadows are the only one that's remaining. After I, of course, dispel the, uh... What is this one called again? Tormentor, that's it. Oh, right. Text is actually up here. to do for this one is it just chant yeah just chant okay don't lose your concentration Shit. now i really wish there was like a meter or something to determine how fast you're going no especially for like this section where you are encouraged to kind of go pretty fast or you know die horribly Final one. Let's bring it on home. You, you're still standing. How? In fact, the longer this has been going on, you've seemed more and more resolved. It's not possible. There's no emotion stronger than fear, and no fear more powerful than fear of the unknown. That's not true. Humans don't fear the unknown. Never have. If you think we do, you haven't been paying attention. 
Even sailors, the most superstitious humans to ever walk the earth, set sail to the edges of a world they were sure was flat and inhabited by sea monsters. We've been inventors, explorers, astronauts. Hell, we take holidays to places we've never been for fun. You're not even stuttering anymore. Why aren't you cowering before me? Because you were wrong, Auntie Nian Nian. There's one emotion stronger than fear. There's one feeling that every living thing knows, and it's way stronger than fear. It, it can't be. It's love. No, fool! It's lust! What? Just that flat, what? You think the male praying mantis knows fear while he's getting some? Hell no! Ridiculous. You're saying pure lust is keeping you from being scared of me? Huh. Ever heard of the suspension bridge effect? They say when two people face danger together, they fall in love. Not when one of them is the danger. You. Don't you understand the cruel indifference of the infinite cosmos? Your world, your reality, everything you know and love, it's all meaningless and could vanish in an instant. Even as we speak, your sun spins around the precipice of terminal oblivion. Ha! Idiot! The only thing that the sun spins around is the Earth and every human on it! And that's not all. There's more you don't realize. You really think I'm meaningless because I'm human, right? You think I'm the lowest of the low, an insignificant speck not worth any attention? And yet here I am, in your dream. <gasps> I've got that right, don't I, Auntie Nian Yan? If I'm here with you, it's because you're dreaming about me. It means I'm in your head just as much as you're in mine. I think the truth is that you're terrified of me. You're terrified of the speed at which I'm meeting the unknown and planting a big wet one on it. I'm terrifying enough to have invaded your dreams after all. Right? Ah yes, the one thing that unknowable, f unknowable entities from beyond the stars fear more than anything else. One man who wants to smooch them. You've come face to face with the greatest threat to your power, and nothing you can throw at him can stop him. And after all this, after meeting Lynetta, serving Esther's whims, and being subjected to the worst you have to offer, I gotta say, it was all pretty fun. Now tell me, does this sound like it's my nightmare, or is this yours? It's my win, Auntie Nian Yan. No, it can't be. You think you can turn the tables on me? I already have. You're the second most powerful god and you fear me. It's only a matter of time before I date every single god you know. I'm going to leap into the great unknown cosmos and smooch that too. Starting with you. Pucker up, Auntie Nian Yan. You've earned it. Escape from me. A human too lustful to fear anything. Could such a thing even exist? What horror. As soon as any of us dreams again, he undoubtedly will return to haunt our hearts once more. Oh, I'm never getting a good night's sleep with him on the loose. Auntie Nian Yan. And that's it. That is Sucker for Love. Let's enjoy the uh, credits.
Dedicate to my brilliant wife, Caroline Hunter. You make me a real sucker for love. Aw, that's cheesy. Composer extra spicy. Vocalist Chisa. Lyrics, lyricist Geki. Supplemental art, Cleveland Mosher, Moraine Art, Midnight Neon. Creative assistant, his wife. <laughs> Is her wife? Eh. I don't know who either of those three voice uh, voice actresses are, but they're really good. Published by Dread XP. All right, well, uh, that was uh, Sucker for Love. Incredibly fun game for everything that's worth. A little short, but hey, I mean, it basically costs $10, so kind of get what you pay for in that regard. Honestly, though, what I really liked most about it was, yeah, it's kind of like a parody of visual novel dating sims in a certain situation, but just how quickly it turns the table into actual true horror. It never downplays the fact that these beings, these eldritch gods, are terrifying beings that in realities, with like a snap of their fingers, yeah, some crazy and unbelievable shit happens that you do to them, like the fact that he basically made uh, Nyarthalope basically back down like that. But, like, it just went full force into that horror at the end, and I think that's one of, like, the best subversions I've seen. And I love it even more that going into the menu doesn't pause it either. It's crazy. But, um, yeah. Overall, really good. I definitely think this is one of those games that excels if you know nothing about it. Because let me tell you, the first time I played Chapter 3, doing all that and trying to figure out the curses, it was much more, like, intense. I felt way more gripping at my heart trying to figure out like what I was supposed what I was going to do and Akabaka. how I was going to get through everything Sucker for love. First date. uh whereas this time through I I knew exactly what to prepare for it was I it was still tense trying to do it under time restraint because I don't do well under pressure uh but I still had no problem with it so going into this blind is definitely the preferred way to do it so if you've got 10 bucks to spare and you want a fun time, I recommend checking out this game. It's really fun. It's goofy. And if the sequel is anything like this is, I look forward to playing it when it's fully out. With that said and done, though, that's going to be it for now, guys. I hope you've had a fantastic Halloween special. And until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.